My name is Julie Stanton and my store is Once Around. It's an arts and crafts store in Mill Valley. I've been interested in crafts probably my whole life. Um, my grandmother taught me how to knit when I was nine and um, I, I did that for a little bit and then I didn't pick it back up again until actually um, I had kids and, and they were little. The main focus of the store is providing all the supplies, all the ingredients for any arts and crafts that you want to do. Um, lots of times people come in here and say, oh, do you have birthday cards? Or, um, And we don't. We have all the ingredients for you to make your own birthday cards. I'm always amazed at the things people do with the materials that we have. I have a vision of what those materials are for, and then people come in and they have a completely different use for them, which is great. I love arranging things. I love making things organized. And that combined with my love of crafts, I just thought that it would be fun to have my own have my own place. Crafts are really experiencing a renaissance right now, actually, which is interesting in this technological time that we're living in um, and I think it's almost a response to that I think it's a response to difficult difficult economic times and a response to overloaded technology people do tend to turn toward things that they can make with their hands and that, it, that's been going on for a while now for a few years now definitely I do think the interest could wane um, but you know I'll just ride it for as long as it goes one of the issues that comes up, and I, I just think it's interesting in this time of technology, is the comparison between, you know, what's called a brick and mortar store and an online place like Amazon. Lots of the stuff that I sell at the store you can find online. And I find that sometimes people want the same kind of speed of service or immediacy of an online shop at a brick, brick and mortar store. And I just think it's important to realize that there are lots of different kinds of shopping experiences and coming to a local store you're getting much more customer service. I'll set aside something that comes in because I know that you know so and so loves this color and I know she'll want to have it when she comes in or we'll you know stop everything and help someone with a problem that they're having. The irony of having your own craft store is that you have no time to craft. Ironically, uh, I spend very little time crafting. I, I Because I'm such a, an avid knitter, I always have my knitting with me, so if there's ever a down moment and I'm waiting somewhere or definitely watching TV at night, I'll pull out my knitting and work on my latest project. Uh, but it's kind of torturous working in a craft store and not having the time to do the stuff that you want to do.